Excel Pivot Table is a powerful tool used to summarize, analyze, explore, and present large sets of data in Excel. It enables users to easily reorganize and manipulate their data dynamically with simple drag and drop actions. Users can group, count, total or average data stored in one table and display the result in another, allowing them to see comparisons, patterns, and trends in their data. Pivot tables are especially useful for financial analysis, sales reports, and any scenario where data needs to be condensed and evaluated for better decision-making. In this tutorial we're using the global superstore dataset from Kaggle.com, which includes records like sales figures, customer information, and transaction dates across different regions. The link to the dataset is given in the description of this video. First, let's create the pivot table. Select the entire dataset by Ctrl plus A. Go to the Insert tab, and then go to Pivot Table. Choose from Table or Range. A dialog box will appear. Selected data range will be shown here. Choose whether we want to create the pivot table in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. For now, uncheck this mark. We don't want to add this data into the data model. Then proceed. We can see a blank pivot table has been created. In the right side of our screen, we can see the Pivot Table Fields pane. At the top part of the pane, we can see all the columns of our dataset as field lists. In the bottom part of the pane, we can see the section divided into four parts. Filters, Columns, Rows and Values. Now, let's drag the Category field into the Rows area. We can see in the pivot table, all the values of category column is arranged as rows. If we drag the category field into column area, we can see all the values of category column arranged as columns. Drag the category field into rows. And the sales field into values. It shows the amount of total sales for each category. If we replace the category field with region field, a similar analysis will show for different regions. Right-click on the sales column and choose show values as percentage of grand total. It shows the distribution of sales for each category. In the Pivot Table fields, from the Sales Values item click on this arrow sign. Select Value Field Settings. From here we can choose the type of calculation for the value field. Like if we choose Count. It will show the total number of sales occurred in the dataset. Similarly, if we choose maximum it will show the maximum amount of sales for each region. Like this, there are many types of calculation methods for the value field. Now, drag the market field into rows. And the category field into column section. And the sales field into values. Here, the pivot table is showing the sales amount for different markets for each of the categories. The pivot table organizes the sales data in a grid format for two-dimensional analysis. Pivot table can also be used for multi-layer analysis. Drag the region field and the category field into the rows. The order priority field into columns and the profit field into values. Here the table shows the profit for each region and within each region for different categories. 
and also further break down at different priority levels. Go to the Pivot Table Analyze tab and click on Field Items and Sets. Choose Calculated Field. Rename it as Profit Per Quantity. Choose Profit and click Insert Field. Give a slash. Click on Quantity and Insert Field. Click the Add button. This process creates a calculated field in the pivot table, which shows the average profit earned for each quantity. Click on any of the region items and go to Field Items and Sets. And choose Calculated Item. Rename it as Asia. Here, the region field is selected. From the items list click on Central Asia and insert item. Then in the formula box input plus. Then again select North Asia and insert item. Similarly, provide a plus in the formula. Select Southeast Asia and insert item. Click on Add. Now, we can see that, among the region items, there is a new item called Asia, which is the summation of Central Asia, North Asia, and Southeast Asia. Drag the order date into rows, and the sales into values. The pivot table is showing us total sales by each year. If we click on this plus button, it will break down the year into quarters. If we further click on this, it will break down quarters into months. If we right-click on any of the date value and choose Expand Collapse option and then Expand Entire Field, it will expand all the date fields into the next level, which is Quarter. Here is a pivot table. If we want to interact with this table, we can use some slices and timelines. Click on the table. From the Pivot Table Analyze tab, click on Insert Slicer option. Choose Order Priority. A slicer is created for order priority. We can see all the values of order priority field in this slicer. Now if we click on the critical option, the entire table will show data only for the critical priority. If we choose low, all the data in the table will be filtered for low priority option. Now, again click on the table, and this time choose Insert Timeline. Choose Order Date. From the timeline, we can find out insights about specific dates. Here if we select January to April for 2011, the data in the pivot table will show only for this date range. We can change the orientation of the timeline for dates, months, quarters, and years. Here choose years. If we select 2013, the table will show sales value only for the year 2013. Using this slices and timelines, we can interact with the pivot table. We can change the styles of any pivot table. Go to the Design tab. From this section, choose any of the theme for you pivot table design. From the Subtotals option, we can hide or unhide the subtotals for the table. Similarly from the Grand Total option, we can hide or unhide the grand totals for the table.
We can also change the layout of the table. You can also customize the layout styles from this options. Stay connected with us for more tutorials to develop your data visualization skills in Power BI. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching.